Home sellers, you have enjoyed the last two years of an extreme seller's market with contingent free offers, bidding wars, tens of thousands of dollars over asking price, and even buyers paying for the seller's closing costs. It's been insane to say the least. However, if you haven't noticed, the real estate market has normalized very quickly. So if you are thinking about selling soon, let me give you five new expectations you should expect in the shifting market. Hi, I'm Nicole Lorg with eXp Realty. For the past two years, sellers have been able to name their price and terms and get exactly what they want, plus extras. Sellers have been blindsided with how quickly that came to a stop and are now worried they may have missed their opportunity to get top dollar and may have also lost their ace card in negotiations. Those days are gone for now, but this doesn't mean sellers can't still get a decent offer. You can, but home sellers, you need to reset your expectations to today's reality. Otherwise, you'll be setting yourself up for disappointment or perhaps even jeopardizing your sale. So let me give you five expectations to reset. Number one, bidding wars are a thing of the past. It's not to say it won't happen, but it has become very rare. There's no guarantee this will happen in today's market. You need to understand that there is an increase in inventory, which means buyers now have more options to consider, and they can take their time in considering a house, location, and amenities. If you don't accept their offer, no problem. They move on to the other five houses that met their needs also. Number two, buyers may offer only list price and we're seeing more buyers offering less than list price. Realtor.com's chief economist, Danielle Hale, explains why. She states, to start the year, mortgage interest rates were right around 3% and they topped out in mid-June close to 6% before the most recent rate hikes. Currently, they're up 2.5% above where they were at the start of the year and up almost 3% from a year ago. Buyers are now having to spend hundreds of extra dollars per month in mortgage payments because of higher mortgage rates. They aren't able to stretch their budgets and put in offers that are as high as they might have been able to when mortgage rates were much lower like last year. Their buying power has been greatly reduced. Number three, contingencies are back. I've seen so many homes go under contract contingent upon the buyer's sale. We haven't seen that for the past two years. Sellers were enjoying getting contingent free offers or offers waiving inspections and appraisals. It was nuts. Again, those days are gone. Now you can expect buyer's offers under list price and asking for repairs as well as seller's concessions. Sellers are offering incentives from the get-go to make their home more attractive to buyers. Number four, homes are staying on the market longer. Listen, sellers, you are up against two obstacles here. One, there is more inventory. Buyers have more options and they don't have to settle. And two, there are less buyers due to rising interest rates. So your pool of buyers has drastically decreased. You need to be patient. And when you get an offer, try to work with that offer instead of tossing it aside and waiting it out to see if you can get more money. Another point on this topic, you must pull your feelings out of the home and be open to what your agent feels your home should be listed for. I say this all the time, we all feel our homes are worth more than they really are, but your agent will know your market and the trends happening in your area. Homes that are overpriced and not priced accurately for your area will sit on the market for a very long time and will result in a price reduction. Lastly, number five, Homes need to be showroom ready. Showroom ready is not just clothes put away, counters cleared off, and the house smelling good. This normalized market has changed this definition. Homes will not sell in any condition, as we have seen in the last few years. Buyers were willing to look past any and all deficiencies of the home. Now, home buyers have choices, therefore more discernment in their purchases. This means any deferred maintenances, dated kitchen and rooms, bold paint colors, old AC units and roof issues within your home will likely sell for less than expected. Sellers who have showroom quality and move-in ready homes should continue to see activity given the property has been priced properly and marketed very well. 
If you're thinking about selling and would like a seller's consultation to review your market analysis and determine what it will take to sell your home this year, please reach out. I would be happy to discuss these items with you. Again, I'm Nicole Lorg at eXp Realty. I'll talk to you later.